Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're going to look at creating a simple stripe pattern in Photoshop. So I'm going to start with a small document, 40 pixels by 40 pixels in size. I'll choose RGB color mode. It has a white background. I'll just create black and white stripes. So I'll click create. It's a very small document, so I'll zoom in and let's just make it bigger so we can see it on the screen. I'll go to the rectangular marquee tool. I'm just going to drag over half of this document. I'm just checking the size of my marquee selection using the little pop-up to the top right of the mouse pointer. And it's saying 20 pixels wide and 40 pixels tall. So that's half of the document. I'll just let go the left mouse button. Now I'll fill this with black. So let me just press D for default colors. Black is in the foreground. So I'll press Alt Backspace. That would be Option Delete on the Mac to fill this with that black color. I'll press Control or Command D to deselect the selection. It's the same as choosing Select and then Deselect. Now this is all I need for a black and white stripe pattern. So I'll choose Select All. I could also press Control or Command A. And then I'll choose Edit and Define Pattern and I'll call this Stripe and click OK. So let's make a new document so we can test our new pattern. File and then New. This time I'm going to make a much larger document. So I'll make mine the size of the screen, 1920 by 1080 pixels. I'll click Create. Now one of the easiest ways and smartest ways to add a pattern to a document is by choosing Layer, New Fill Layer and then choose Pattern. This allows you to select the pattern and also scale it. It also defaults to the most recently created pattern. That's something that Edit Fill does not. So this is going to be handy because the pattern that you're going to add right now is exactly the pattern that we just created. And here it is scaled at 100%. If you want it slightly smaller, then you could scale it down, for example, to 75% and click OK. So that's how you create a regular stripe pattern. And an irregular stripe pattern is just the same. So let's choose File and New and let's go back to our 40 by 40 pixel document. I'll click Create. Let's zoom in. And this time let's create a pattern that has big white areas and small black areas. So I'll go to the rectangular marquee tool and just drag out the size relationship that I want between my stripe and my empty spot. So I want this to be my stripe. I want this to be white. So again, Alt Backspace Option Delete on the Mac to fill the stripe. Control or Command D to deselect the selection. Choose Select All. So you have everything selected and then choose Edit, Define Pattern. And this is going to be Stripe 2. Let's go back to our working document. In the Layers palette, we'll say that we have a Fill Layer. And this is another advantage of using that Layer, New Fill Layer Pattern option. If you double click this, you can go back to selecting a new pattern fill. The pattern fill we've just created is going to be the very last in the panel. So I'll select that to apply it to the document. Let's take it up to 100% of its original size and click OK. So now we have a different stripe pattern. And whatever it is that you want your stripe to be, you can just set up a document with the kind of proportions that you want for the stripes. You could do a multicolor stripe in here as well, whatever you like. If you do use black as your pattern color, you can always recolor that. So let's look quickly at how you would do that. I'll choose Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Hue Saturation. I'll click OK. To recolor this, we're going to increase the lightness quite considerably. You can see that that's affecting the black. And now I can select another color. So I'll choose a sort of red color and I'll click Colorize. Let's increase the saturation and let's go back to that lightness which I just lost. So here is how we can get that red color into our pattern. And you can drag across the hue slider once you've got these settings in place and you'll be able to select any color from the hue slider. Once you're happy with the color that you've achieved, you can just close this panel. And of course, because that's an adjustment layer, if we went back to the original pattern, it's going to affect that pattern as well. So in this case, we've managed to extract a series of blue stripes from a black and white pattern. And if we don't want it to be blue, if we want it to be purple, for example, then it's simply a matter of adjusting the hue saturation adjustment layer. 
I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I hope that you've learned things about Photoshop of which you were previously unaware. If you did do so, please give this video a thumbs up, click the subscribe button and hit that notification bell. That way you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.